Over the years, we've done a number of books dealing with the making of the Star Wars films, but this is the first time that we've put sound technology into one of these books so that you can hear the sounds that you're talking about, and it's a fascinating way to look at the, the, the subject. Sound is 50% of the picture, and uh, I think anybody who watches a Star Wars film would agree with that. Just like George was a creative visionary who came up with the idea for, for all of this, he needed someone who could be equally visionary to imagine what these fanciful things would sound like, and that is the genius of Ben Burton. My style of sound design has always involved uh, going out in the world around us and recording real sounds, motors, animal sounds, sounds from a factory. Because an audience can recognize the authenticity of those sounds. So sound effects become very important um, in coloring an imaginary universe. The famous Star Wars laser gun and blaster came about because I was on a hike with my family. We passed underneath the guy wires of a radio tower. I bumped against it and the, the wire made a twanging sound. And I said, oh my gosh, that's a laser gun. And that wire on that particular radio tower became the basis for all the blasters. The stories behind the thousands of sounds we recorded, it's a fascinating adventure. There's a cast of characters that were involved in the gathering of sounds for Star Wars that um, made major contributions. Randy Tom came on during Empire Strikes Back and I would send him out on daily assignments. Ben was looking for a way to design the sounds for the Imperial Walkers, and he knew that he needed to come up with some kind of rhythmic, uh, multifaceted, kind of ka-chunk, ka-chunk kind of a sound. So he assigned me to go out and look for possible sound elements that he could use to build that sound. And so I did lots of phone calling and finally located a factory in Berkeley, the business of which was to cut really big pieces of sheet metal. There was this kind of guillotine-like metal chop. So it virtually sounded like the Imperial Walker to start with, uh, though Ben obviously enhanced it in all kinds of ways. As I got into the prequels, uh, I paired up with uh, Matthew Wood, who had been my assistant for a while. He's always been my technical genius, my digital architect behind the scenes. When I first started on the prequel movies with Ben, my main goal was to convert him from his analog technology into digital. And I thought sort of once that was done, Ben would take it from there and move on. But he just sent me on so many different recording uh, assignments to go record vehicles and creatures and in different uh, ambiences and environments. Um, I got to learn about sound design and recording techniques and Ben has been a mentor to me in on so many different ways um, and I was able to actually impart knowledge upon him too so that felt really great to be able to give back. One of the great things about the sounds of Star Wars is they live on beyond the films. So right now, myself and David Acord are working on the Clone Wars series, and we have this great library to start from that Ben Bird has created. We use a lot of Ben's legacy effects from the Star Wars features, like a lightsaber. A lightsaber is a classic Star Wars sound effect. It's, it's a defining effect for, for Star Wars. However, we're always creating new effects, like the, the Zilla Beast effect, which is one of my favorites. There's always a new challenge, let's say, in every episode, um, and that challenge is always to sort of keep it in that Star Wars universe. There are so few books on film sound that this one is a real gem. It contains information that you're not going to find anywhere else. I think that uh, people are always fascinated by the source of sound. I don't know of any book that goes into the background of how we did it 
what we did creatively. There's plenty of books about the technology and how microphones work. But this is a book about people and how they created things. I think after you read through the sounds of Star Wars and, and listen to all the sounds, you cannot help but watch the films with a different ear. You can see how Ben Burt has come up with you know, all these amazing sounds in the Star Wars universe, and there they are right at the push of a button on your fingertips, in your headphones, full stereo, high fidelity. 